right up to you, Roger. I went a long time. Yeah, I know. The lady wouldn't let me go. Well, you didn't have to go with her in the first place. We're not. Nothing happened, honey. I. Of course, she did take clothes off. Roger! Virginia, I wouldn't do it for the first time with a stranger. <laughs> Besides, we promised each other we would wait. <laughs> A promise. Mm. Especially not to you. Mm. Bunny? Closer all the time. I love you more all the time, too. I'm going to be blunt with you, Mr. Stein. I'm not so sure the transitional apartment experiment's working out. Why do you say that? Because I think two of our residents, Roger Myers and Virginia Hensler, are a perfect example of the kind of problems we're facing. You still haven't told me what problems. The two of them are carrying on like adolescent lovebirds. Plus, Myers is not doing one thing for himself. Virginia is doing all the work. Plus, Myers almost burned the place down last month. Plus, there were TV reporters crawling all over the place yesterday because Mrs. Myers convinced the local TV station that her retarded son was the new poet laureate of California. They rushed to get him on TV. Mrs. Myers, I'm told, is trying to get a literary agent for him. Now, I ask you, how is that going to look on the state report? I think it's going to look like we're doing exactly what we set out to do. It sounds quirky. Why? Roger's not behaving abnormally because he's a slob around the house and he allows his woman to clean up after him. I'm not saying it's right, but if that's retarded behavior, then half the men in this country are retarded. And it's not abnormal to let something burn when you're brand new at cooking. I think you're begging the question, Mr. Stein. Mr. Davis, the improvement in both Roger and Virginia since they moved into the apartments is little short of phenomenal. Virginia has self-confidence, she's articulate, she works as a babysitter. Roger's held down a steady job for a year. He's had an offer from a store to buy the toys he makes. And furthermore, since the last time he was tested, his IQ has gone up almost 20 points. Mr. Stein, I was one of the founders of the Martin F. Feeney home. I give generously of my time and money. I believe in helping the retarded. But I also believe that the kind of normalcy you promise as possible is a cruel delusion. And I believe any talk of marriage between retarded people is a social obscenity. <laughs> over to all the counselors. It tells all about this couple like us that got married. They had all these kids, and they, they beat them up, and, and then they left them, and then they went to jail, and they sent this letter along with it, too. Many of the young people here think they can get married. We know this is not true. Reactionary, atavistic old goat, how bloody dare he? What a stinking thing to do to those kids. What is a man like that doing in this work anyway? 
Good question. Did either of you uh, notice the date this article was written? The magazine it was taken from was out of print over ten years ago. So? So horror stories about retarded couples going crazy, drooling at the mouth, and burning their babies is purely science fiction. This comes from a time when people didn't know the difference between mental retardation and psychosis. Virginia's aunt called. She wants us all to get together and talk about this. I'm not sure I know what to say to her. My kid is gonna take me away from you, Roger. I know she is. Let her try. Virginia, hold out your hand. Roger, you old son of a gun. You still have a year to pay on it. How'd you do it? Well, like my dad would say, I made Mr. Finkel a deal. <laughs> I told him he could have my record collection, my poems, and all my hula hoops until I, I finished paying them. Roger, I love you. Be happy, Bonnie. Now you never have to be scared ever again. I loved your icing, Mrs. Myers. You'll have to give me the recipe. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a mix right out of a box. Now that I'm a working woman, I take any help I can get. Well, folks, we're here to get acquainted and I believe ask some questions. What say we get started? Now, we all love Jenny Ray very much, so we want to be sure that we understand what this is all about. I don't want to be called Jenny Ray anymore. Jenny Ray was a girl's name. And I'm a woman. Roger gave me an engagement ring. See? Yes, dear. It's lovely. Now, to begin, Virginia has been receiving a supplemental income from the state. So is Roger, $225 a month. Well, if they marry, will they lose that? No. The amount will be reduced for them as a couple, but they'll have aid as long as they qualify. Mr. Stein, I don't mean this to sound hostile, but the family can't help but wonder if this whole thing was encouraged as another experiment. No, ma'am, it was not. This whole thing is simply the normal end result of two people who fell in love. Yes. Well... Are there any statistics on the end result of marriage among retarded people? There are. And they parallel with the rest of society. They make it or they don't in the same proportions as normal people. I have a question. What about their legal entanglements as a couple? Who would be responsible for their debts and contracts? They would. What about children? And how much a part did sex play in their desire to get married? Hey, Kate! How many more questions are you going to ask before we can get married? No more as far as I'm concerned. Is that all right with you? I guess so. I'm glad because it's important for you to realize that Roger and Virginia don't need your permission. I think you've made that perfectly clear. But they very much want your approval. They're going to need all the love and support they can get from their families. We want you to be as happy as we are. said you wanted me to grow up to be somebody. Now I am. I'm a man. Virginia. 